Pastor Rod Parsley is one of the most visible proponents of the prosperity gospel, a doctrine that asserts faith in God will lead to material wealth and physical health. This belief system, while popular in many evangelical circles, has been widely criticized for its apparent focus on financial gain rather than spiritual growth. The prosperity gospel teaches that God wants his followers to be prosperous in all areas of life, including finances, and that faith, positive speech, and donations to religious causes can result in increased wealth and health. Critics argue that this doctrine preys on vulnerable individuals, especially those who are financially struggling or facing health challenges. They contend that the prosperity gospel distorts the teachings of Christianity, reducing the faith to a transactional relationship with God, where blessings are bought rather than received by grace. Furthermore, opponents of the prosperity gospel accuse pastors like Parsley of exploiting their followers for financial gain, as these teachings often encourage substantial financial donations to the ministry as a means to unlock God's blessings. Parsley's messages often feature testimonies of individuals who have allegedly experienced financial miracles after following his teachings. These stories are presented as proof of the prosperity gospel's validity, but skeptics question their authenticity and ethical implications. The controversy surrounding the prosperity gospel is further fueled by the lavish lifestyles of its proponents, including Parsley, which seemed to contradict the more modest and self-sacrificial example set by Jesus Christ. Rod Parsley's foray into the political arena has been another significant source of controversy. As a vocal advocate for conservative Christian values, Parsley has not shied away from using his platform to influence political discourse. He has been particularly active in promoting causes such as anti-abortion measures, opposition to same-sex marriage, and the defense of religious freedom as defined by conservative Christianity. One of the most notable instances of Parsley's political involvement was during the 2008 U.S. presidential election. Parsley endorsed Republican candidate John McCain, a move that generated substantial controversy due to Parsley's past inflammatory statements, particularly those concerning Islam. More on this in a later section. McCain ultimately distanced himself from Parsley, but the incident highlighted the complex relationship between religion and politics in the United States. Parsley's political activism has been polarizing. Supporters praise him for standing firm on his religious convictions and advocating for what they see as a moral agenda. However, critics argue that Parsley's involvement in politics blurs the line between church and state potentially alienating those who do not share his views. Furthermore, his endorsements and political activities have been seen as contributing to the increasing politicization of Christianity, where religious identity becomes intertwined with political allegiance. One of the most contentious controversies surrounding Rod Parsley revolves around his statements about Islam. Parsley has been recorded making highly critical remarks about Islam referring to it as a false religion, and claiming that it is inherently violent. He has suggested that Islam poses a fundamental threat to Christianity and Western civilization, rhetoric that many have condemned as inflammatory and dangerous. In particular, Parsley's characterization of Islam as a religion that must be defeated by Christianity has drawn significant backlash. Critics argue that such statements contribute to Islamophobia and perpetuate harmful stereotypes about Muslims. These comments also risk inciting division and hostility between religious communities, rather than promoting understanding and dialogue. The controversy over Parsley's anti-Islam rhetoric reached a peak during the 2008 presidential campaign, when John McCain, who Parsley had endorsed, was urged to distance himself from the pastor due to these remarks. McCain eventually repudiated Parsley's endorsement, but the incident underscored the broader issue of religious leaders making polarizing and divisive statements in the public sphere. Parsley's rhetoric has also been criticized by interfaith leaders who advocate for religious tolerance and cooperation. They argue that such incendiary language is counterproductive to the goals of peace and mutual respect between different religious communities. Despite the criticism, 
Parsley has not significantly altered his stance, and his views on Islam continue to be a flashpoint of controversy. Like many high-profile televangelists, Rod Parsley has faced scrutiny over his financial practices. Parsley's ministry, World Harvest Church, and its related organizations have been the subject of investigations and criticism regarding how funds are managed and allocated. The controversy centers on questions of financial transparency, accountability, and the use of donations. Parsley, like other televangelists, encourages his followers to donate generously to support the work of his ministry. These donations are often framed as seed offerings that will result in divine blessings for the giver. However, critics argue that there is a lack of transparency about how these funds are used, leading to concerns that the money may be funding Parsley's personal lifestyle rather than ministry activities. Reports of Parsley's personal wealth, including his luxurious home, expensive cars, and other trappings of wealth, have fueled suspicions that the prosperity gospel is more about enriching the preacher than helping the congregation. While Parsley's defenders argue that his wealth is a sign of God's blessing and a result of his hard work, critics see it as evidence of exploitation and greed. The issue of financial transparency is not unique to Parsley, but it is a recurring theme in discussions about televangelism. Efforts to introduce greater financial oversight and accountability in ministries like Parsley's have been met with resistance, further intensifying the controversy. Rod Parsley's ministry is known for its emphasis on divine healing, a belief that through prayer and faith, individuals can be cured of various physical ailments. Parsley has hosted numerous healing services where he and his team pray over individuals, claiming that many have experienced miraculous recoveries from serious illnesses. These claims, however, have been met with skepticism and criticism. The medical community, in particular, has raised concerns about the promotion of faith healing as an alternative to conventional medical treatment. Critics argue that encouraging people to rely solely on prayer for healing can be dangerous, especially if it leads them to forego necessary medical care. Additionally, Parsley's healing services often include an appeal for donations, with the implication that giving money to the ministry can help secure a person's healing. This practice has been condemned as exploitative, particularly when dealing with vulnerable individuals who are desperate for a cure. The blending of financial appeals with promises of divine intervention raises ethical questions about the integrity of such ministries. While there are many testimonies from people who claim to have been healed through Parsley's ministry, these stories are difficult to verify independently. The lack of concrete evidence to support these healing claims, combined with the potential harm of discouraging medical treatment, makes this a particularly contentious aspect of Parsley's ministry. Rod Parsley has been an outspoken opponent of LGBT plus rights, particularly when it comes to issues like same-sex marriage and inclusion of LGBT plus individuals in religious communities. He has consistently preached against what he views as the moral decline represented by the LGBT plus movement, often framing it as a threat to traditional Christian values and the institution of the family. Parsley's rhetoric on LGBT plus issues has been characterized by strong opposition to any recognition of same-sex relationships within the church and broader society. He has advocated for policies that would restrict the rights of LGBTQ plus individuals, including opposition to anti-discrimination laws that protect sexual orientation and gender identity. This stance has led to significant backlash from LGBTQ plus advocates and allies, who accuse Parsley of promoting hate and intolerance. They argue that his teachings contribute to the marginalization and harm of LGBT plus individuals, particularly within religious communities where acceptance is already a struggle. Critics also highlight the broader impact of such rhetoric on the mental health and well-being of LGBT plus youth, who may feel rejected or condemned by their religious leaders.